As if on cue to show you how tough they are on illegal immigration, today the Department of Homeland Security released this video of an ICE removal flight to Cuba, of all places. The folks you see being loaded on that plane risked their lives and fled a murderous regime that allowed the Soviets to station nuclear missiles. That's still the Cuban regime. We know that many of the people coming off those buses will be punished by the regime when they arrive back in Cuba. And of course, all of the agents you see in this video could also be down on the southern border, but no. The Department of Homeland Security won't allow the media to do ride-alongs on the southern border. They won't allow us into their facilities. They won't answer basic questions about the release of illegal immigrants onto America's streets. The Homeland Security Secretary regularly ducks interview requests and his relationship to the truth about the border is, I think I mean generous here when I would tell you it is casual at best. Will you testify under oath right now? Do we have operational control, yes or no? Yes, we do. And we have we operational are, control of the borders. Yes, we do. And, Congressman, and we are working to... Is what operational control defined? In this section, the term operational control means the prevention of all unlawful entries into the United States, including entries by terrorists, other unlawful aliens, instruments of terrorism, narcotics, and other contraband. Do you stand by in your testimony that we have operational control in light of this definition? And Congressman, I think the um, Secretary of Homeland Security would have said the same thing in 2020 and in 2019. And frankly, if he had said that, he would have been lying then. There is zero effort by this administration to stop the insane flow of people from more than 100 countries across our border. Many, if not most, are allowed to stay. That's a policy decision. The, the pre president was elected based on certain policies. He's implementing them. I'm a journalist, so I'm supposed to be cynical. But there are a few things more hypocritical than allowing millions of people into America illegally, lying about our policies at the southern border, and then sending out a press release about a repatriation flight to Cuba about 10 hours before Title 42 expires. Seriously, a press release. The most transparent administration in history won't allow reporters to see what the federal government does on the border. But somehow, DHS Public Affairs has time for this video. Think about that. Just as the world's eyes focus on the crisis that has been created at the southern border by the policies of this administration, they exploit people who risked everything to escape America's nearest enemy to be used as a photo op. What I've told you is not opinion. It is exactly what happened today. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.